Hey yo YouTube, what is good? It is your boy Chris from Sonic Hub and we got some major Sonic news to talk about. We finally have our first brand new screenshot of Frontiers gameplay and we have some news about the development of the game which is pretty interesting as well that I want to get into. So it's been a pretty slow news cycle but I do want to talk about some of this because it's very interesting and I got to be one of the first people to show you guys a screenshot so I will not waste your time. As always, we will get right into the news. Let's roll the clip. So like I said, it's a pretty slow news week. As you guys know, we got the new languages revealed that Sonic will be translated in. So the official Sega Instagram did post which languages those would be. Obviously this is in Japanese, but underneath you see something that we have not seen before. This is a screenshot from Sonic Frontiers gameplay. Now it looks pretty similar to what we saw before in the trailer, but if you look really close, you see the background of the Starfall Islands and you see a picture of Sonic, which indicates that this is obviously a screenshot from the Frontiers gameplay. It looks like he's still standing like how he stands in forces. So people who hate the forces model, I'm sorry you're gonna have to deal with it to me it doesn't look that bad but one thing I have noticed is that the quills do look a little bit longer so if you absolutely hate and despise the Sonic Forces model you might be in luck it might not be too late for you guys one last thing I want to point out is how he's looking across that like huge gap of water I really wonder in this game if he has the speed and jumping ability to make it across that that's just something that stuck out to me hopefully the moveset is awesome in this game very high speed but yeah just wanted to point that out to you guys but in terms of like any type of gameplay or any type of footage this is the first thing we've seen since the trailer dropped at the game awards and it's pretty cool to see that they're not being that subtle with it and since the game was delayed for quality i think it's pretty much done and ready to go we'll get a little bit more into the development process in a little bit but as far as transparency goes it seems like they're ready to start showing us stuff we have about two months until south by southwest which i think is when they'll actually start to reveal a little bit more information because all the rumors indicate that this game is very impressive i'm sure sonic team wants to show this off we got the footage of the open world already which to me indicates that they're pretty satisfied with how this game's going so far they think that their game looks impressive and they want all of us to see so it's expect stuff soon but this is a very cool screenshot i really wanted to show this to you guys let me know what you guys think about this screenshot down below once again i was scrolling through twitter and i came across a tweet that says sega has opened a new studio in sapporo japan which will ensure a high quality and stable development pipeline it will design develop and debug new titles the studio will be headlined by takaya sagawa the fantasy star online tube chief producer now is this significant like what does this mean for sonic frontiers let's do a little bit of a deeper dive into an article that does a translation it says sega unveils new studio headed by fantasy star online tube producer it says Sega has decided that Tokyo alone isn't big enough for Sonic the Hedgehog's menagerine of furry friends as the former console giant has opened a new studio in Sapporo referred to in a press release as a second development base in Japan the casually named Sega Sapporo studio will focus on new software and debugging it says that Sapporo is the most populous Japanese city north of Tokyo and it's well known for its home beer and snow the studio will be headed by Takaya Sagawa who is the former chief producer on the MMO Fantasy Star Online 2 Sagawa's statement helpfully describes the city of Sapporo as attractive that said however Sega will apparently not require its workers to relocate to the city as the company hopes to hire locally to fill its positions so they're looking to hire new people so this is pretty interesting i'm not sure if this necessarily has to do with sonic team specifically which is its own separate studio but it is very interesting because this guy actually has worked on like two sonic games i believe so there's definitely a bit of a connection and most notably he has worked on fantasy star online 2 which there's some rumors going around that sonic frontiers might be heavily inspired from fantasy star online 2 which has the same open world elements so one of the things they are doing is brushing up on the quality of games so i I wonder if this will have anything to do with specifically Sonic Team. I wonder if this studio will have any helping hand in the Sonic Frontiers game. Let me know what you guys think about that down below as well. But overall, just wanted to break out to you guys that we finally have a brand new Sonic Frontier screenshot. It's going to be a very slow news cycle going ahead for the next couple months. So we kind of have to cover anything that we can get. I do have a lot of great discussion videos planned for you guys coming out probably later this week. But I do find it pretty promising that they're starting to show some screenshots. It looks like already we're getting a lot more transparency. Especially Especially with the Sonic language campaign, as you guys know, international fans clamored for the game to be translated in certain languages, and they finally got that wish. So it looks like they're a lot more open to feedback, they're a lot more receptive. It's honestly fantastic news. I'm happy that more fans will get to see their translation of Sonic. I guess all we have to do is ask Sega and they'll start giving us the stuff that we want. Now this could get pretty interesting. So once again, I do believe that things are heading in the right direction. I want to know all your thoughts about this news. What do you guys think about this? I don't really have much else to say to you guys today, but until I see you guys next time, peace out.